your, here each of you say your three percentage. Or together your batch of hundred percentage. Because all of you are to be great leaders. Making good success in life. None of you will be left behind. Just proud of you. God bless you. I want to say thanks to the parents for allowing the children to be here. This is indeed a vital program that they are in. These are young people for the foundation of the church. They have grown to be the men and women of tomorrow. This program is one that really helps to build people. And I'm sure it's not just the young people in Swar, also for everyone, all of us to be part of the bus program. But it just happens at this time we have been just the young ones. And it's a good way to start. But elders, older ones, remember the program is for you too. We all need to strengthen the Christian faith. And we're happy for people, you know, people like you or their sister, for will, and we're so proud of you. Thank you for representing our church very well. And we're happy that you are here to coordinate in such a way that we have such a viable group going on here. The church really appreciates the service we render. We're thankful for you to put our own students and we are benefiting from it here at the church also. But I know this is not just a local church, this is a global issue. And we're thankful for that we are working with our young people, preparing them for the future. And young ones, don't be ashamed to let others know that you belong to the Lord. At school, be proud to let them know that you are a Christian. Don't be ashamed. Don't let them pull you down. But instead, you should be one who is pulling up others so that they will be better people in society. You want to learn here in other areas of your life, in the school world, that you will be successful. You hear vets and doctors and teachers and real estate persons. All of you have potential. The sky is the limit for you. It's only for you to be diligent. And in all of this, we the Lord to bless you and to lead you. Again, we say thanks to the coordinators for the work they are doing. Thank you, parents, for allowing their children to be part of this program. Just continue to encourage them that they will grow to be men and women who are good citizens for the world and citizens for health and above. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for your participation and I wish you God's blessing in all your undertaking. Now let us pray. Loving God, our merciful Father, to you be our honor, glory, and praise. While you are indeed a good God, a loving Father, a great provider. And we thank you, Lord, for these young ones who we have, have been you know, molded, Lord, into the service for you. God, we pray that you bless them and you keep them. We continue, Lord, to do them mightily wherever they go. Let them know that they will be the head and not the tail. That Lord, they will pull up instead of allowing others to pull them down. That Lord, your light will shine through them always. Lord, we thank you for their parents. We pray that you can to bless them and to keep them, to provide the resources they need, Lord, that they will be able to guide their children wisely and efficiently, Lord, properly, so that they achieve their full potential in life. Lord, we thank you for the tutors and the coordinators of the service here, the bus program. Lord, continue to use them. And help them, Lord, that they will always have more and more people to work with. And this batch goes to Lord. We pray that the fresh one will come in, even bigger than this one, Lord. And you will do ages right across the board. So, Father, we just pray for your continuous blessing here. Let everything that is done here to you, Lord, be done to bring other glory to you. And as a church, Lord, we give you thanks. Know that, Lord, you love us and you want us to the church to do. And we thank you, Lord, for the seeds we have here now. Let them grow, Lord, and not sure. And let them glory to your name. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you, Dr. Wexford. I did not.
not recognizing me, somebody I've known from when I was very young. I knew him. Alright, so, prayer is done. I want to take this opportunity now to introduce our esteemed coaches and trainers. They have been contending, we have been contending for these young ones for the last 32 weeks. Not just in teaching them, but in prayer and in supplication to the Lord for them. So first off, I want to introduce Coach Carlotta Boy. She's a
It was introduced to Jamaica in 2009 by our regional directors, Redna and Fred McClurkin. BOSS is a complete curriculum designed to technologize the environment, focusing on the ages 6 and a half to 11 and a half to be kingdom curious. Kingdom, kingdom leadership defines success God's way and for his purposes. The objective of this training are to address the major challenges, challenges that today's youth must overcome in order to be successful contributing members of society. The program focuses on training for success through participation experiences that overcome fear. These experiences processes erase negative habits and at a much faster rate than traditional teaching. Reprogramming the inner person is the key to being a winner. The training program processes have been used and have proven to be rewarding for to those who diligently apply the lessons. Boss the movement offers three phrases. Participating youths are required to participate in three phases of boss. Phase one, once a week for 32 weeks or 20 weeks. Phase two, once a week for 20 weeks. Phase three, once a week for 20 weeks. Youths are encouraged to repeat phases one, two, three, three times for nine year commitment so that the principles live in them as a habit, believe through repetition. To find out how you can become a certified boss coach and set up this powerful life changing program in your church or community, just give us a call. 876 570 7254, 876 570 7254, or 876 471 5222. You can make a difference in the life of a child. I thank you. We had a, a center, we have a center in Greenville at the Greenville Baptist Church. So we started out, I think, with 15 students, we ended up with five. And it all boils down to the commitment of our parents. Here at Mandeville, we have 15 students, Coach Carlton, 15 students at Mandeville Baptist, and we have six students online. So for this year, we actually, the bus Jamaica, we had four centers across Jamaica, two in Mandeville, one in Trelawney, and one center in Montego Bay. You see how Mandeville bless? We have two centers in Mandeville. Yes. In Manchester. So the classes run for 32 weeks and the students are taught the principles including their pledges and they will be demonstrating their knowledge to us, to you today, right? Sharing what they have learned and how they can apply it to their lives. As Coach Harlata said, the program uses repetition. Children, what is repo? What is repo? Repetition, easy, easy, pleasure, pleasure, often, often having. Right, so what they're saying is what is done repetitiously will become easy. So when they start coming to class and then get used to coming to class on a Saturday morning, it becomes easy for them to know that Saturday they have bus class. When it is easy to be done, coming to class is easy, coming to class becomes a pleasure. When coming to class becomes a pleasure, coming to class is done often. And we will see some persons who it was a pleasure to be there and what? They had perfect attendance, so it was a pleasure to come to class and they do it often. And when coming to class because it's done often, coming to class becomes a Happy. Not true. Hey guys, come next week, Saturday, and we'll wonder, so what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Not true. Because we don't have bus class next Saturday. Alright? So come into us now to share what they have learned and how they can apply it and what God has given to them is our group of students who will be talking to us about what is birthright.
Come on! What is work life? How many of us know we have? Alicia Miller, Gabriella Salmon, Michaela Miller, DeAndre Powell, Akila Grant, and Jared Grant and Joshua Hewitt. In that order. So I should have Alicia, Gabriella, in order. Michaela, Gabriella, Michaela, DeAndre, Akila, yes, Jared, and Joshua. All right? Okay. What is our birthright? Our birthright. A birthright is what the treasure that God gave to all of his children for the days of time. The birthright includes confidence, courage, hope, belief, faith, and trusting God as a source of our hope. Most people don't know that we have these precious birthrights. Confidence, reliance, self-assurance, affirmation, and hope. Courage, the ability to conquer fear, pride, and doubt. Hope, something that gives a promise to the future. Belief, conviction, and assurance. Faith, conviction is not evident. Trust, assured reliance, trust in the character and strength of someone, trusting in God as the source of my hope. Thanks to our esteemed regional director and master coach, Coach Rainy McClarkey. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, asked, I'm going to ask you guys to really pray for this lady. She travels from the U.S. to Jamaica. I can't count how many times. She flies out. Sometimes she has snow up to our doorway, but she still finds a way to come to Jamaica because of our children. Let me hear you give her another round of applause. In God's we teach our children that there are three types of attending. And so coming to us to share our three types of attending this morning is Daniel Allen, Chelise Patrick, Amani Gale and Kelisa Walters. Good morning. Good morning. Through the bus program, I have learned that there are three types of attending. Pretending to attend, selective attending, and focused attending. Pretending to attend is when your body is here but your mind is somewhere else. Selective attending means when you zoom in and zoom back out. Focus attending is when you're looking, listening, and learning. And when you learn, you earn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes? Pretending to attend. All right, so coming to us now, we have Coach Madeleine Smith, and he will be bringing reflections from Reveal. Hello, family. Hello. How are you doing today? Perfect in Jesus. Okay, great. Okay, my name is Coach Madeleine Smith. And um, as I am here today, I first and foremost want to give God a mighty thanks for opening the doors to Greenvale Baptist Church for hosting 
the Boston Women classes Saturday of each week. Thank you also, Pastor Pinnock, for accommodating Boston Women classes at Greenville Baptist Church. We are also thankful for the parents who took the initiative to allow their children to participate in the Boston Women classes each week at the Greenville Baptist Church. Thanks to you also, Brother Wills, which I don't see you today, but thank you for your listening ears. Also, I want to thank Tara as well for her listening ears throughout the 32 weeks of these classes. He thanks you also, Coach Barbara, and myself for the time and the efforts we put we have dedicated throughout the Boston Women classes throughout these 32 weeks. And thank you also, students, for you know, your attendance throughout the 32 weeks. And uh, as I read, I want to um, read the reflection for each um, participating student. Michaela, it helped me to be more focused and disciplined, especially in, it, in waking up and preparing for school. Dominic, it helped me to believe more in God and to trust in Him in all that I do. Jared, it helped me to be more enthusiastic. Abanake. It helped me to be more focused in school and believe in God for what He has done for me. And Kikai, it helped me to be more confident in myself. A hearty congratulations to all the students, the online students, and non students, and the regular students for their proper for being a part of these class classes. Thank you, parents, and thank you to our coaches today. Have a blessed day. Our pledge number one says what? Pledge number one says we are changing our bad habits to good ones. And bad habit that we have, most of us or all of us have a bad habit of not trusting in God. And so the children learn that they can trust God for whatever they need. And that is so important. Because if we do not trust God, then who are we going to trust? We have to change so that we can trust God. Coming to us now, we have three types of people. You know, there are three types of people in our world. Eh? Yes, man. We have three types of people in our world. And they have some characteristics, you know. And so our children learn that there are some characteristics of these three types of people and we tell them that guess what they say first two we don't want them to have that we want them to have the last one and that is why they are in bus because they are three percent leaders so coming to share with us today three types of people come on clap them as they call last time robinson Clay and Clark. Clay and Alexis Walter and Jordan Clark. Yes. All right. Good morning. My name is Dr. Roxon Robinson. I'm a three percent top leader and God has called me to go to a purpose. Through the boss program, I learned that there are three types of people in the world. Eighty seven percent lukewarm followers, ten percent coal destroyers, and three percent hot leaders. Good morning everyone. 87% followers are lukewarm. They are usually frustrated and depressed. They find it hard to make commitments and usually follow the crowd. They never rise to the top and consider themselves average and uninspiring. Followers fear failure and most times will not try. 10% destroyers. Destroyers are individuals who have a lot of ideas but are not disciplined enough to put themselves into action. They are angry and dissatisfied with whatever current system they find themselves in. They want to rule but are afraid of their responsibility. They fear failure. Good morning everyone. 3% leaders are hot. Leaders are red but can be easily identified. 
They stick to themselves rather than what is the problem. They set goals and follow through with them until they are completed. Leaders do not like to fail, but they do not feel failure. All right. I have on our program where we are going to have hope to a thing, but I kind of want to switch it up a little bit, and I'm going to ask Jada to come and give us his talent piece. Worship all my soul, there is a higher place of praise. When my heart is overwhelmed, I lift my voice. There is a higher place of praise to destroy the yoke today. I choose to worship, worship all my Why I 
just, just in God. I have to have faith in what God is going to do, is going to do for me. When, 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 when I have faith, well, having faith in God, I still have to trust God.
September September 20 September 23 It was a good 30 it was a good 36 weeks and all of us can say that we enjoyed it for sure. When we started off our boss class, it was 16 of us, but now it is only 15 of us. We all started off as strangers. We only talked to those who we already knew, but surely and surely we all became friends. We all had different experiences, but for sure we all had great time. It is sad that we have to depart, but it but this experience, experience will forever be in my heart, and I will never forget it. My favorite, my favorite time at boss class was when we were doing the greeting process. Why you may ask? It is my favorite because it teaches us that we must always have a plan and stick to it. It also teaches us the three ways that the enemy defeats the body of Christ, which are no plan, no commitment to the plan, lose focus, and move to slow. We all can say that we all enjoy our time at God. It will forever be in our heart, in our heart has, has an, an enjoyable experience. Good morning, everyone. Hello, my name is Dana Alex. My name is real estate agent Dana Alex Walters. I am a 3% thought leader and God has called me to a purpose. Throughout the BOSS program, I have learned about the enthusiastic journey. To be enthusiastic, you have to act enthusiastic. In the BOSS program class, for me, this meant I had to get up, jump up and down. I did not like jumping up and down so much, I got tired after it. We had to shout with this enthusiasm, and I had to remember that enthusiasm is the key to this process. Now, failure is a bad result of thinking. Something that really made me think is that we must fail often to succeed once. Mark 11, verse 22 to 26. Pray in faith, time save minus doubt, plus believe, time forgiveness equals things. Unforgiveness is a negative and will cancel out the whole equation. Now, what is 0 to 5 seconds? 0 to 5 seconds is now. Yes! <laughs>
Thank you. Questions? Anybody have any questions down here? Students, you have any questions for us? Hmm? He leads to questions, so that means nobody not thinking. <laughs> All right, we are going to have our pledges being done by our graduating class. Will you all stand for me?
important? Legend number 10. To be a true success is a gift from God. Therefore, I will remember to seek His guidance. And I will trust in the Lord with all my heart. And be not unto my own understanding. <laughs>
challenge you young people that not because you are graduating today that you think you have arrived. You have just started the process. And so come September when we start the new program, I am expecting every one of you to be here and to be in class. And not just to be present, but to be present. Not just for your presence, but for you to be present. I want you to understand that the principles you are taught are for life. And so you can apply them, and you should be applying them to your life, to your school, to your church, to your family. You, I want to challenge you to go out there and be change makers. Go out there, encourage your peers to become a part of BOSS because you know what BOSS has done for you. If BOSS has transformed you, I remember some of you when you came, you could barely speak. Some of you were so shy that you couldn't say your names or introduce yourself. But look where you are today. Do you know and do you think that there are somebody out there, one of your classmates, that can benefit from this program? We are a force to be reckoned with. The boss vision statement says, we are a global generation trained to win the world for Jesus Christ through kingdom economics. So children, we are not just training you for yourself. We are training you to be global representatives for God. To win the world for Jesus Christ. Not just for you to just take this as just something you learn. First up, we'll be doing the certificates of completion. Coach Carlotte, Coach Camille. Oh, trainer, trainer colleague will be coming to do the honors for us. Why should we do that? Let us do a little something there. Why? Why should we do the for a while? Yeah, yeah. Let us do a little something. Let us talk a little bit. Let us show them how we do it in class, okay? We're going to do it five times, all right? One, two, three. Jordan Clark. Joshua, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. I think, um, I think I can it. Joshua Hewitt.
I'm Joshua. Joshua Miller. So you might wonder why we have some like that. One of the criteria for graduation is that they must know all their pledges from 1 to 11 in linear and gestalt and they also have a pass mark of 80 on their test. Alright, so participation, Amani Gale. Jared Graham. Mikai Graham. Tasika Graham.
Tracen White. If you are here and want to stand, your name has been called. 
Willis Levy Smith. Sir, my apologies. Louise Smith. Heather Fay. Doreen Gordon. Cynthia Briscoe. Neville Jennings. And I'm looking at the audience and I'm seeing also unnamed persons as well who are part of that. And our green veil names also are included here. You have given so much of your time and talent. And just your help has caused us to be where we're at. To the audience, we say we please our heartfelt thanks for all to see. Your presence, your smiles, your cheer so true make this day more special for you. To the organizers, behind the scenes crew, you work tirelessly to see us through. Your efforts, your time, dedication shown have made this graduation truly our own. To pass the pinup and church for open door, to have boss classes ever more. Yes. To Angie Pauline and Marcus too, we could not do it without you. And so, let us raise a chair now. Let's raise a chair now. <laughs> to our graduates who have made us so proud. Together, we, we have conquered. Together we'll soar to greater heights. Thank you, Coach Camille. What a beautiful thank you vote of thanks. Not you? I tell you, the poet just came out of her. I just want to add a little bit here, and it's on your program, but I'm going to read it. So on behalf of our regional directors, Fred and Raina McCurkin, we take this opportunity to thank our parents for sticking with us for these 32 weeks. Again, Brother Isaacs from Greenfield Baptist, who gave up his work to ensure that the church was open every Saturday. Brother Marcos um, for opening up here. We also want to thank um, Trina Audrey, who also worked with the parents. I tell you, she was on the back like Matlock to make sure the children are out, you know? I want to thank the driver. I don't know if he's here. The driver who transported the children from Bombay to Canada every I want to especially give a thanks to Mr. Javan Boy, as Coach Radat has been son. Yes. He was our administrator and master controller yes. when we were online, and he would know when, when to put in what and when to switch out what and to put us in breakout room and stuff like that. He was our master controller, and he made our work easier. Because trust me, when we were starting, we thought we didn't have to do it. But man, he just came on board right on time. Javon, big up yourself. I want to say thank you to Mr. Rowan Graham. He provided us with our PA system today. So much you have made this ceremony, this function, what it is today. So coming to us will be our young minister of the Lord, Mr. Jordan Clark. He will be giving us our closing prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your glory, thank you for your peace, and thank you for your mercy. It is because of you we will have perished in sin. You said you would never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, I pray that whatever we do will be will to be will be the glory and the honor of your name. Thank you for your mercies and sparing our lives once more. Thank you for giving us the best of life. Lord, move through us like you've never moved through us before. Move through us like you move through Daniel. Move through us like you move through David. Move through us like you move through other persons in the Bible. Lord, I thank you for your wisdom, your knowledge, and your understanding. I 
pray that you will march down every trip and any plan of the enemy, march up every enemy base. I pray for I pray for blood coverage and the sick ones here. You shall heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for your glory and your prosperity through our lives once more. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 Alright, so that concludes our ceremony part. I want to acknowledge the Baptist, I think, has started coming. Yes. Marcus. Yes. <laughs> and Marco. Thirty, thirty, thirty-two weeks. 
I don't remember how much we tied in, but it was way really less than that, 20? Yeah. yeah. Um, but I'm telling you, this program is great, and I hope that as they get older, you push them to become trainers. Who are you? Perfect in Jesus. Perfect in Jesus, man. I am so excited. Sitting there, I'm telling you, boss has changed my life. And look at me now. I am now 71 years old. It's how we look. Here. <laughs> because of these principles, I did not know who I was. I don't know what, where, where I was going this, I'm going here. I didn't know who I am. But when I started BOSS and learned that I am God's greatest miracle, so all these things that you hear the trainers talking about is things that I prove. I'm not, I'm not telling you something that I have proven these principles, especially trusting in God. Let me tell you, things come into being straight in my eyes because of these principles. And now what I came here for to encourage the parents. Parents, man, if you ever get this thing in your system, and to train this children, you need boss to train them. You need this to train them. When I got this, I, I, I don't have time. I, I just feel excited. But what I can tell you, but you have a lot of my testimony. When my husband died, because of one of the pledges that said, today I will live this day as if it were my last. Having the confidence that all things work together for my good, for I love God. And I'm called according to his purpose. And when my husband died in 2014, I stand on that pledge. Many people could not understand. They said, Why should I cry? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But I stand on that pledge. He said, All things. When my son came and told me, Mommy, don't worry about the hospital. Daddy died. I said, Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. People said, What? She died. But because of the pledge, yeah. all things. He said, This can't be all things. This is all this will be all things. My husband take away from me. All be all things. But I stand on the page. All things work together for my good. Young people, I am so proud of you today. I am so proud of you. And as this, as Os Barbara said that this, this is just the start. Because one thing I want you to know, I want to encourage you that this program is a spiritual program. It works in your spirit. It's a spirit man. Ah, uh, girl and boys, when you get into this, you are going to run with the fire. Yep. Run with this fire. It is a powerful program. And parents, as I heard, um, Coach Boy announced that they are training for parents. Parents, 